A lot of you said that it'd be a good idea for me to get an Instagram, so I did make an Instagram called Far From Film. You can go follow me in the link in the description. Basically, what I'm going to be posting there, I'm going to be posting pictures that make me laugh, might make you laugh, pictures of me, perhaps. There's got to be the odd selfie in there. In fact, my first and only picture at time of recording is a selfie. But also behind the scenes stuff that you may want to see and secrets about videos, you know, in advance that you probably would want to see. And I've decided to hold up on my next Q&A video until I reach 100 Instagram followers. So you can follow me on Instagram because my idea or goal for the Instagram thing is to try and get you guys to ask my questions on there so I can answer them from Instagram rather than clogging up the YouTube comments. So go follow me on Instagram. When I get to 100 Instagram followers, I will do another Q&A. So thank you and... Mwah. Right, the self-promo is over, but go follow my Instagram. Thank you, I love you. <laughs> so starting this new Instagram, got a lot of thoughts going in my head, and I thought, I use social media a lot, and there's a lot of things that I really love about it, but this video is not going to be about that. So don't get me wrong, I do love social media, and it's a really good thing. It's not distracting us from everything in the world, and we shouldn't just destroy technology because it's going to destroy us first. I think it's a good thing. But along with good things, there are also a lot of things that I hate about it, so I'm going to tell you a few of them now, and hopefully you can relate to some of them. You probably can, because we all use the media. And a lot of the things in this video are going to be about Facebook because that's probably what I use most other than YouTube. So this is 10 things that annoy me about Facebook or that we all see on Facebook, something along the lines that is in the title below. Like for like. What? I mean, as stupid as something like sub for sub or follow for follow is, that has a point. Like, if you follow for follow someone, you can see each other's updates, but like for like. A like does literally nothing. You don't see anything else from them. You just like it, and that's, that's it. There's nothing... Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like the pic, not the link. Haha, <laughs> you clever people. If I see the picture, to begin with, what makes you think I'm going to like it then again when you share a link and not the actual picture? I don't like the picture. Stop posting the picture. <laughs> so much spit flying around this room right now. Another thing is when people take a selfie and then they're just like, oh my god, I'm so ugly. I'm just horrible to look at. Don't even look at my picture. Just go away. Go away and don't even look at it. I'm so ugly. Somebody tell me that I'm beautiful. You're beautiful, okay? Just, just stop saying you're ugly because what does that do? Just makes people go, no, no, you are perfect. You are God's gift to Facebook. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that really what you wanted to hear? Can I poop in peace now without knowing that you think you're ugly? Yeah? Cool. Look at me, my face is going red with seething rage. Calm down. Relationship posts. Oh my god, it's been three days since I've been dating Jimmy and I'm so hopelessly in love. Hey, I'm cool with that. If you're in love with someone, that is brilliant. You can talk to them about it, be in love with them. You don't have to publicize it and stuff like that. But what really annoys me is when a day later they've broken up and they say how much they hate each other. Maybe you should rethink your life a little bit? How can you be so, so in love with someone and then hate them the next day because he wouldn't share his sandwich with you or something like that? Sandwiches are good, so... Yeah, if I'm ever with you, you should make me a sandwich. I'm so flushed, look at me. Oh, I'm so ugly. Someone liked the video to say I'm not ugly. When people in their photo cover up their face. Don't get me wrong, it's okay if you're hiding or something and that's the point of the photo, but if you're either covering up your face just for no reason to look cute or something like that, or if you're covering up your face with like an iPad, that's one thing I don't understand. People who take selfies with iPads when it's bigger than their head. And even worse, when they go this close to the mirror so the iPad covers about that much of their face. Why would you do that? Get a phone. Again with this next one, take it with a pinch of salt because at times it's good, just not all the time. People who post food on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all the websites, but why? Why do you post every single meal on there? Just had a bowl of cereal? No one really cares. If you've made a massive three course meal for your loved one and you've set it all out nicely, you can take a picture of that. Do that by all means. If you're at a restaurant and something looks really awesome, do that. If you buy an old brand that you never knew existed and you really like it, do that, but don't do it every single meal. <sighs> Somebody needs to tell me to keep breathing. Next thing is news articles that say, you won't believe this. And then you click on it and read it, and it either wants you all of your information and to share things to Facebook for you without asking, by the way, which sucks. Or there's just loads of adverts, and you can't even read the article. And with my laptop that's not even that quick anyway, scrolling through articles is rubbish. If I want to know 10 things about something, can you not just give me a simple list, not a click for every single one I want to see? My laptop can't take it anymore, okay? It's why it's blowing up on me. Game invites. Aren't they lovely things? I'm gonna admit, I think I do accidentally invite people to games when I play a certain game, but it's a good game. It's not a silly game like Farmville or something like that. Just a side note, when I said people are being hypocritical about doing these things on Facebook, I probably do some of these things, but I'm not being hypocritical. I'm just being annoying. I'm not saying you shouldn't do them. I'm saying it's annoying, so I'm not being hypocritical by doing them. I'm just being annoying, which is basically my whole channel, so what are you doing? And finally, is people that always 
always complain and rant about people on Facebook. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of me, but whatever. Just, um, move along. Nothing to see here. Right, I look like one of those noses on Red Nose Day, so I think we can stop getting angry there. But I do just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watches my videos and give me support. It makes me feel really, really happy to do something that I love doing, and just have you guys there with me is amazing, so thank you. If you could, please give this video a thumbs up. Can we reach 100 likes? That'd be crazy. If not, that's okay, but 100 likes would be really really awesome of you so remember go follow me on instagram for all awesome updates and when i do q and a's i will ask you to ask my questions on there and the next time i'll do a q and a is when i reach 100 followers on instagram so get following but don't follow too fast i have to make a q and a soon but no if i get 100 followers before tuesday then tuesday's video will have to be a q and a thank you for watching stay awesome i love you all and i'll see you on tuesday